going to talk about Final Fantasy 13 and some of our feelings and opinions on it, because we know a lot of you have been playing it, and we're no exceptions, to say yes. the least. Yes, I believe we've actually been keeping pretty good pace on each other, um, probably because we both work the same hours, um, pretty much anyway. We're both at about, cha- we're both in chapter 11? No, I'm in chapter 12 now. In chapter 12? So. Okay. I'm, I'm far behind. I actually work harder than John. So. Yeah, it's um, true. So far, let's see. You know, we've talked about it a bunch already. How we're how we're liking the system and things like that. And and the system has changed quite a lot since the last time we talked about it. It changed as much as just grown. Yeah. I mean, it's the same essential system. You queue up the CP. The more, oh, not the CP. The yes, the CP. The ATP. The, you oh. get more and more time slots, you know, in your little active bar segments, which you use on actions. So they give you more and more actions that eat up more stuff. Because by the point that you start having four, you start the game with two, and you can end with uh, with six. I have five on all my characters right now. To anybody who is not already playing the game and therefore does not understand a single word John just said, our apologies. Um, but if you play Final Fantasy X, Sphere Grid. But leveling up... Definitely think yeah, sphere grid. Lots but like, of CP. 3D. Everywhere. No sphere points. Child porn. They're Crystarian points, actually. Child oh, points. that's what that stands for. That makes so much more people sense. People those monsters were dropping child pornography. By the thousands by now. Wow. Dude, I fought this Atomoids. He dropped like 10,000 child porn. toys. So, um, how are you liking the characters these days? I, I actually absolutely hated Vanille when I first saw her. I wanted to wring my, my hands around her vaguely Australian neck. Uh, I really like pretty much everyone now. Uh, Hope, who I thought was a whiny little emo something or other, um, is not. I feel he's more justified, and he's he's managed to kind of move beyond some of his irrational... You mostly learn to like Hope better because he shuts up. Yeah. Part. He learns to stop talking. He's like, well, I'm young and therefore dumb. I, I should be seen and not heard. Yeah, I I still find, I, I don't mind Vanille's character so much, but I still find her voice a little grating. Oh, can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? I'm tougher than you thought. I love it. Do it again. No. Please, no. just once more, no, just once more. No, once no, more for the no. camera. Once no, more for the camera. No, I'm done. What if you didn't get right the first time? I did. How do you know that? Because I'm good. Ah, oh, and I so you know I love that. I actually get very sad when I fight battles with Vanille just to have her go that I'm much tougher than you thought, and then she doesn't do it. <laughs> I I have no problems not hearing Vanille's voice. I I continue to just be like, really, how, why did they cast this person? I just I don't know. Her voice is just so very preschool oh. teacher annoying to me. I just I, I just can't get into it. I you know who I really love. Fang. 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 Fang and Saws are, are definitely my favorite characters on the voice acting front. Fang, ironically, not an Australian actress, but sounds a lot better as an Australian uh, than Vanille, who is actually played by an Australian actress. And uh, she just sounds really cool. She has a, a voice that fits her her character and her body. Uh, and Saw's the same. You know, I was a little nervous about him at the beginning because I was worried he was going to just be like sort of that doofy punchline guy. Um, but he actually has turned out to be pretty cool. You know, wow. insert spoiler tragedy here. He became a lot cooler. I mean, he was kind of a one punchline kind of guy. Yeah, he was kind of. What was on the back? He's going on. Better run away. Yeah, that was that was very much Saw's. These like, guns were Saz. made for running away. I don't like that they call him Saz. I think his voice. He's like, he's really, I think Saz sounds better than Saz. Saz. Vanille is a partner of his a lot. Vanille is the easiest voice for me. I love, I love her outros on the battle, though. I, that wasn't scary at all. I still wish Lightning uh, punched some of her really sarcastic lines a bit better. I think that if, that if she really punched those harder, she could be a really cool character. You know what I... Or she is cool, just not really cool. You know, the game is beautiful. The game has a lot of great animation, and it's the kind of thing where it's hard to say what is and isn't beautiful, because in its own regard, everything is next-gen pretty. But what I think I really enjoy is there's a lot of subtlety kind of in the faces of the characters. I feel like there's there's a lot of... There was this one moment where I was watching Lightning's face as, like, everybody else was going off and being all happy. Hope had said something really good, and she's, you know... Her giant tickles for hope, apparently. And, uh. <laughs> well, was, is that an actual quote? She was like, Hope, don't lose hope. My giant tickles for you. <laughs> um, but no, she was looking at him and she kind of had like this tiny little 
little bit of smile kind of coming off on and off of her face, which seemed very appropriate for her character. You know, her character is not somebody who just smiles easily and naturally, but she kind of wanted to be. I, I actually, I really dug that. I've... I've gained the ability to choose who my party is and who my leader is, and I, I use lightning as my leader at all times. This is problematic because she seems to be, against my will, mind you, an all-round character. Yep. She, she excels in several areas, like but that. doesn't like exceed beyond all expectations. And so as much as I want to use a character like Fang, I use Snow and I make him a Ravager, which he sucks at solely because that way I can be a commander with lightning. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really like my characters to be very well rounded. So for the most part, like uh, I have been using lightning, and uh, and I've been using saws a lot, and I've been swapping in uh, the Neil. Or one time I actually had snow in there instead, and I had lightning as my medic. That didn't go so well. She's not a great medic. Um, she's a much better ravager than a medic. Uh, but it would have helped a lot if I had given her rays. Snow feels like a. It feels kind of meta to me. I feel like Snow's commentary about being a hero means that he has some awareness of his situation. I don't think he actually does, but it's that kind of refreshing thing I love a lot about the Nippon Ichi titles when they kind of have that, I'm the hero, nothing bad happens to me or my friend's mother. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I find Snow kind of... I don't, he has this, like, I, I kind of wish he was actually more like his look. Kind of a... Skater dude slacker type, but instead of like this, I'm the hero! Although not keeping him in my party makes him not the hero, which kind of makes me get a little, little inside. I do love uh, the variances of his facial hair that, that yeah. he's got in game. He's got like barely even a shadow, he's got like peach fuzz on his chin. And then in game sequ rendered sequences, he's got you know this kind of thing going on. And then in like full CG, yeah, yeah, no, that, that he's, he's like a they Japanese had a woolly designer mammoth designer for this. Uh, even though Sauce doesn't have a beard, and of course Hope she has no facial hair whatsoever. <laughs> I kind of like that a Japanese woolly mammoth. What would a woolly mammoth look like in Japan where they don't have a lot of hair? <laughs> Peach fuzz. <laughs> no, no. If you look at uh, some historical documents, Japanese men actually had some pretty impressive beards, probably because they were harder to grow. It was very fashionable. Way Maybe. back in the day. Um, not so much nowadays. Uh, turns out women in Japan prefer their men relatively clean shaven for the most part. Um, I always found that kind of interesting. But go for like, yeah, you know, like they obviously can't grow quite as much as you've got here, but that's that's probably a similar. That's oh, probably dude. the most I would see on most Japanese dude, men. I days. can barely grow this. If I tried to grow any out here, it would just like wither and die. And you call yourself an Italian. I know, it's the weird thing. <laughs> We've got a little off topic here, so I guess we're running out of things to say about Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy the 13. It's 13. Game of the delicious. month. I can't believe there's only 13 chapters, actually. I want to make... I wanted to note... It feels kind of... Like, I'm already in chapter 11. There's only two chapters left. I mean, even though I've spent, like, almost 30 hours on it, it feels kind of short. Well... And I, I guess part of that is because a lot of the sort of wandering stuff you actually get to, apparently, uh, after you beat the game, yeah. you can go back and do all that stuff instead of, try, instead of having to do it all before you beat the game. I kind of thought it was a cool addition that they made sure that, I mean, because in every Final Fantasy game I've ever played, I have this crippling fear of endgame where I get to the final boss and then I could beat the final boss. I care about beating the final boss, but I really just want to do all the extra stuff. See, like, for me, I want to do it before I beat the boss. Like, it just feels like that's the real yeah. accomplishment. Going back and doing it after the fact, just anybody can do that. Yeah, seriously. And by the point that I've slayed the ultimate weapons, you know, once I beat Emerald, I beat Ruby, some dude hanging out in a crater that I can, like, two-shot doesn't <gasps> mean much to me. Okay, nobody could two-shot Sephiroth, and I never had that problem. No, dude, Matt's I, around. You could one-shot him, probably. No. If you Knights of the Round would not one-shot him, trust me. I beat him when I was, like, level 40. It took me to get to, like, level 80 before I could beat, you know, any of the weapons. Well, yeah, the weapons are a lot harder, but yeah, that so doesn't mean you, Sephiroth was a two-shotter. When you could beat the weapons after you beat the weapons, is what I'm saying. After uh, you do all the side combat. All right, you guys, I know some of you have done this. Can you two-shot Sephiroth if you're high level enough to beat the weapons? I want to know. The answer is yes. Know. No, I don't think yes. so. I don't believe it for a second. I want to see, I want to see YouTube. You know what, I... YouTube proof? I want what? to prove I want Someone to see somebody to... record and show me them two shotting Sephiroth. All right. I, I need to see this. Sorry, I need to take a couple days off of work. All right. We'll be back. Bye.